One of the huge problems with camper life is parking in residential areas and um, moving about without making it obvious that you're living in the van. One of the ways that I chose to solve this with my van was because I wanted to put a wall dividing the cab from the back of the van, I wanted access to the front of the van. This wall makes it feel more like you're living in a luxurious resort than it does an old work van. But when you wake up in the morning, you don't want to roll open the side door or the back where they can see your bed and your sink and your, your shoes and your towel hanging up. So you roll out of bed, get up, it's early in the morning, and you come over here, pop open the door. And we're in. Then you can drive off to the gym, go get your workout and a shower, or whatever you do with your van life. Or head to the nearest um, forest, whatever you want. So the cab dividing wall is done and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So here is just how I built it. Hey, I'm Jake. Have you ever wanted to live in a van off the grid with low expenses? We'll follow along and check mine out. So we'll cover this with plywood. We'll secure it to the window right there, window frame. It'll be secured in the top corner, and then also here along the roof. There. It doesn't interfere with the door. It's the door mechanism right here. This will be all blocked off, but this bit will be open so that you can access your 12 volt refrigerator it will slide up front where the passenger seat was. You pull out, you can get food out of here. Or while you're sitting here driving, you can access your drinks. Securing it to the plywood, the plywood's been bolted into the van. A pretty nice fit up top. You can match the arc of the van. So now this paneling just slip right in there. solid just a bit of surface rust we'll just blast some paint seal it up right
cab, no passenger seat. We just have this 12 volt fridge that be able to pull out through here, through this wall that will be all covered in paneling. This is the access door to get into the front. Fridge tucks away. The fridge does have a seat belt to buckle the fridge in, but also to be able to sit on it for the occasional passenger. There's the front seat and the panel behind it still needs to be hooked up and fabric put on it. Fresh carpet in the front, fresh paint on all the trim. Okay, let me get this situated. The windshield is really in the way here. I might just pop it out to film this video, but maybe not. One thing I added to this cab division wall are these two windows here. Uh, windows, whatever, cutouts or something. The point of those is so that when I'm driving here in the driver's seat, I can knock that open and I can see directly out the rear view mirror right through each of these um, cutouts. This one I put in also so that I can look over my shoulder and see right out the sliding door window. That still allows me to have really good visibility in this van that would be otherwise difficult to drive around in. So it just makes it more comfortable um, for driving and easier to see. Um, hopefully that creates some inspiration for you guys and um, really appreciate the, the likes and the, the, the views and happy to have you guys along for the, the tour. Um, got a couple other big videos coming up just showing really cool things that I'm doing to the van. So I'll keep them rolling. Thank you for watching.